Hello again guys, Sully Bites here with a video comparing these three control center tweaks that promise to increase its functionality. Now, let's see which one does it best. I'm not trying to find a winner here, just explaining what they do and how they work and then you decide which one you want for yourself. Yalla. First off we have Flip Control Center. Immediately going into settings, you can see the first option suppress from lock screen. Now this is quite a nifty feature my friends. When you click on it, it gives you the ability to enable to disable certain control toggles. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but essentially it blocks you or anyone from using the toggles you choose to disable at the lock screen. So say I don't want to toggle airplane mode while my phone is locked. I simply just check airplane mode Voila, can be used, doesn't work. And to save that. Back to the main page. You have two options to configure top shelf and bottom shelf. Top shelf is the little toggles up here, which gives the option active switches, which shows you the toggles you want to use or disable, and you arrange them by holding on the grabber and placing it in the order you want them to appear on your control center. So say, see how I have airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Putting them below the disable line will, you know, disable them. They won't show up in your control center anymore. Next setting is switches per page. And that's pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to select the number of toggles per page. I have mine set to six because I think that's the most optimum number. If you select unpaged, it will set it to where you had where you can see seven at a time, and it disables the locking when you're scrolling around. It just doesn't stop and doesn't lock on a certain page. Now, I don't really like rows per page, but hey, whatever butters your biscuit. Anyways, it gives you the option to use vertical rows instead of horizontal pages. So say I go here, control center, instead of going sideways, it goes up and down. The rest of the settings for the bottom shelf do the same thing as I have explained on the top shelf, except you know, they're on the bottom. Also, unlike the next one on the list, CC settings, this one seems to be compatible with Phantom for Snapchat and Nitrous. It also has auto brightness and setting toggle. Alright, so CC settings for iOS 8 and 9. As I mentioned earlier, it is free and it is available on the Big Boss repo. This is a very simple and clean tweak. I have been using CC settings since the debut of Control Center. I just happened to not get it this time due to the fact that it wasn't updated when I jailbroke my phone. Anyways, into the settings. You first see the toggles per line which I have set at 5 rather than 6 like Flip Control Center. This is because 5s look much cleaner than 6 in CC settings. Here you can see this is 5. And if I do 6, it looks kind of cluttered, but hey, whatever you want. Second option is Dismiss Control Center. What this does is that it allows you to set Control Center to automatically go away upon pressing any of the toggles, such as data. Kill Music On means that using the Trash toggle will kill all apps including music, but when it's off, it keeps music playing by not killing it. You also have an option to whitelist any app that you do not want the bouncer to bounce. The last setting is for you to choose what toggles you want or do not want in Control Center to have. Aside from the cleaner, smoother, more stable feel of CC settings, and now I don't know if this is just a personal thing, but I found out that CC settings is much smoother than Flip Control Center. But other than that, there's a few extra toggles that you will not find in Flip Control Center. These functions include a home button, a shutdown button, reboot, and screenshot. Now for the only one on the list that costs money, let's see if the $3 price tag fits the functionality. Alright, so I played around with this and I have to admit, it got a bit overwhelming. I'm not going to explain every single setting in this thing, but all I'm going to say is, this tweak has a shit ton of settings to fiddle around with. And if that's your thing, 
then this is the best match for you. Alright guys, this is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want me to do more of these, be sure to let me know. And give this video a thumbs up, it means a lot to me. And I want to see if I can get 20 likes on this bad boy. And as always, stay tuned for another video coming soon about recent development with iOS 9.2 jailbreak. Yay. Be sure to also like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and follow me on social media. Peace. Pardon me. Hello YouTube. Previous I'm videos here. Kind of Mind giving them a click? Click on M. Click. 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 Click on M. Now, take a moment to subscribe please. I'm waiting. Still waiting. Yup, still waiting.